Nice. Hello, Internet. Welcome. My name's Chris. This is... Cooper Greenberg. And uh, we're here to play some wonderful guitars and tell you all about these great Gretsch guitars. Um, so Cooper is holding this fantastic Streamliner, and I have the Pumpkin Spice in my hands. And uh, basically these and one other we're going to show you represent some fantastic value guitars that Gretsch has been doing. Um, if you want to see all the details that we're talking about on these, you can go to our website, it's alamomusic.com. Um, but we'll tell you a little bit about them today. So basically, Gretsch uh, has been around for a number of years, and they have been producing fantastic hollow body, semi-hollow body, and uh, solid body guitars. And they have their own unique sound, their own unique look to them. Um, and these are the latest and greatest kind of value-oriented budget models. Um, I don't want to say cheap, and I, and I hate saying budget because I mean, they're fantastic guitars. Uh, what Cooper's holding is actually one of the more affordable ones. Uh, that's a streamliner, and how's it feel? It feels great. Uh, Chris told me the price on this today, and I was very surprised. It um, just plays so smooth, and it sounds great, and fell in love kind of right when I picked it up. So he's taking it home. Is what, no, I'm just yeah, that's my guitar. <laughs> <laughs> so the Streamliner is a fairly new line from Gretsch. It's only been around for about a year or two years, maybe two and a half. Um, and they are uh, basically hallmarking back to a lot of the famous Gretsch guitars that we know and love, just as this is. Um, and they're made with uh, a, kind of their own unique look to them, uh, appointments and pickup options. So this is the 2622T, uh, and on this guitar... It's a double cutaway, thinner, semi-hollow design with a solid spruce block going down the middle with Broadtron pickups. How would you describe the sound of those as you're just playing them? Um, you know, it just sounds warm, but it's still got enough bite to where you can play lead and rhythm. You know, I like to do a lot of finger style uh, guitar playing and you need a good balance uh, where you can do some bass notes down low and still uh, play some hot licks. And uh, it's perfect for that. But um, you know, rhythm and lead together, uh, it's a really well-rounded pickup sound. And I love, so these are available in a variety of different body sizes. There's a kind of a smaller junior size of this, which is pretty cool, with either Stoptail or the licensed Bigsby uh, vibrato, which I love and, and kind of prefer in this style of guitar. And what's great about it is the, um, the control layout. So you've got master volume up here and then a volume for each uh, pickup. So that's your neck, and then you've got your bridge, um, and then a master tone. And if you've ever played with that two pickup you know, system, kind of like on a lot of Gibson guitars, you have the three-way toggle like you do on these, and then two volumes and two tones, or, or something to that effect. The thing that I always miss is like a master volume. Because if you have it in the middle position, you can, you can mix the two, you can get that kind of blend that you want, but then if you, mess the, if you mix, mess with the volume at all, you've kind of messed up that whole mix. So this is nice. You can get those swells, or you can kind of set it and forget it and just me mess with the master volume up there, which yeah, is pretty cool. That's great. Block, uh, proloid style inlays, and then let's get back to the pickup. So these are Broadtrons. Um, if you're not familiar, Gretsch, kind of at the same time that uh, Seth Lover was working on pickup designs with Gibson, was working on their own solution to 60 cycle hum and the noise that single coils have. Um, and that uh, culminated in a filtertron, kind of like the idea we get for humbuckers is to buck the hum. Filtertrons is to filter out the noise. Um, Broadtrons are a newer version of the filtertron pickup that is really more like a kind of traditional humbucker path style pickup. So it's got that throaty kind of mid-range sound, which, which was really noticeable the way you're playing, yeah. particularly with the kind of softer attack with the with your fingers and whatnot. But what's great about these, in a thinner, semi-hollow body like this, is you can really drive it. Um, you can get a lot of uh, gain and overdrive before it starts feeding back and really get more of that traditional, you know, path humbucking sound. This is, does it look similar? In, in Georgia Green, this is a 5622T. So this is a similar body shape, but in the electromatic line. Um, and this has a lot of the same controls, same layout but with um, these Hilotron pickups, or Helotron as some people call them. And these were really made famous on uh, the Tennessee guitars like George Harrison played for a number of years. But they, they kind of look like humbuckers. They're not. They're single coil uh, pickups, and they've got this real nice 
uh, round chime to them like we know from single coils. Um, not as much output as a traditional humbucker uh, or the Filtertrons even, but more so than most single coil pickups. So we're gonna have Cooper actually go through these and, and play them all. Um, let's play the, a little bit of that one first and then I'm gonna hand you this one so you, they can hear the difference. Give this one a whirl. So same body shape, different pickup options. And again, it's the Electromatic line. Now, something that has changed recently, um, if you have been following these at all, is they look a little bit different. For one thing, they don't scream Electromatic on the headstock. It's right here on the pick guard, real small. Um, and they, they basically look like higher end Gretsch models. So if you want one of these fantastic guitars, uh, it's no longer one of those things where you're screaming that you maybe couldn't get the other Gretsch. You can actually choose to have this and uh, and not feel bad about it at all. <laughs> Awesome. 24.6 inch scale on this, 24.5 on the Streamliner, so it's a slight difference. Can you feel it? I mean, it's a tenth of an inch. Not really, yeah. yeah. Um, doesn't make such a huge difference to me, but you know, they're both smooth playing guitars. Some of the other benefits of the Electromatic line, they have these cool strap locks that are built in. If you're not familiar, basically, the strap buttons just kind of unscrew. You pop your strap on and screw it down. Um, they've got the Chet style inlays, um, which is just kind of the, the thumb look over the edge of the fingerboard, and they're rosewood, so is the Streamliner. So despite like the CITES regulations and all the stuff going on with rosewood, uh, these are still rosewood fingerboards, maple ply bodies. Um, these are made in Korea, so that they're a little, we, I mean, I guess you can say that or, or argue that it's a factory that's producing a higher end guitar uh, with, you know, tighter Tolerances, great fit and finish. I, I don't see anything wrong with the Streamliner, but these these do kind of seem like a, a step up yeah. um, as far as guitar-wise. Um, and then we've got this one. So this is what a lot of people think of when they think of Gretsch. Um, it is Gretsch orange. Um, it's perfect for the fall season. Uh, and again, equipped with uh, Bigsby vibrato. And these are black top Filtertrons. So these are Filtertron pickups tried and true, but they go back to an older design that Gretsch had, uh, which are basically just slightly hotter output. And the reason that Filtertrons have been famous for so long is they've got that warmth of a humbucker, but they've also got that chime of a single coil. So a lot of people think it's, you know, it's really kind of the best of both worlds. Um, that's why they've been popular in things like uh, rockabilly, blues, rock. A lot of worship teams are starting to play. Um, you know, Gretsch guitars for that sound. It's like a Gretsch through a Vox and, and it's quintessential. So uh, let's plug this one in if you want to hand me that one. And if you listen, you'll get that warmth um, from the, the humbucker, but you're going to get some, some nice chime too. And, you know, some guys, they'll, they'll play this on a bridge pickup instead of a telly and it works fine. <laughs> Awesome. So again, maple ply. Uh, this is a full on hollow body um, and it looks killer. Bound F holes, just wonderful look. Bound headstock all over the place. Um, Pearl headstock logo. And you know, again, electromatic really small right here. It really bugs you, buy a different pick guard. But <clears throat> I honestly think they're great guitars for what they are. And you know, for less than a thousand dollars, you can get an impeccably made semi-hollow body, hollow body guitar um, from Gretsch that is just really an amazing guitar. 
Um, and then, you know, for even less than 600, you can go with the Streamliner and just rock it all day long. So great guitars. Um, if you have any questions about any of these, any of the specs, or you want to see full photos of these, go to our website, it's alamomusic.com, and you'll be able to see all of the information. Um, you can also purchase right online there, great financing options and everything. But maybe not one of these, because I'm going to convince Cooper to buy one today. Um, so anyways... There you have it, some fantastic guitars from Gretsch. Tune in later, we're going to be doing some with their, uh, their solid body guitars from these ranges as well. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much. Hey everyone, I wanna thank you for watching the videos that we produce. We put these out to help you choose the right guitar, um, understand some of the options that are out there, and to showcase some of the latest models that you may not get the opportunity to play in your local music store. If you have benefited or enjoyed watching any of our videos, then I wanna tell you how you can help us to make more. We have created a new t-shirt just for guitar nuts like you and me. It's this, it says, I'm a guitar nut. So if you're like me, you are a guitar nut. And if you're also like me, walking around naked is probably an offense. So we want you to have this shirt. Follow the link, go to our website. These are going to be limited time and uh, you can put in a pre-order for it now. They will be shipping soon. And once they're gone, they're gone. So follow the link below and get your guitar nut shirt that only you and other guitar players will understand with a knowing week. Thanks again for watching.